up everyone and welcome to that kind of love podcast episode man is it nine or is it ten i think it's nine you would know if you had posted it <laughs> okay <laughs> the disrespect um this is either episode nine or ten i think it's ten if y'all know let us know because we don't know um we just do <laughs> but it is your host logan and this is trey You ain't got to do all that for me. Because I'm me. But um, anyway, welcome you guys. Welcome to the podcast. Uh, just a little reminder, this podcast is about love and relationships. And Trey and I have been together for a pretty well. Pretty, pretty well. Pretty well. Pretty long time. And we just want to share all the information that we have learned throughout the years from each other, from others um, that are in our lives. that are having successful relationships as well. Um, but let's get into it. Let's get into it. Today's topic. What are you doing? Just watch, woman. Okay. Thanks. Um, <laughs> I'm sorry. You're doing a lot. Uh, the title of today's topic is called Lazy Love. Hey, cuz. Um, What's up, cuz? It's called Lazy Love. And the, the discussion more so that we're going to get into is um, getting lazy in your relationship. I thought you were going to have like a little sound effect or anything. You just like. Do it again. I okay. Know. So we're going to do this over because Trey is not, not listening. So what we're going to get into first, well, about it, I guess about our topic is really called getting lazy in your relationship. Lazy. Yeah, there we go. See, look at that. Ah, right on board. Uh, we're going to talk about getting lazy in your relationships. So what we're going to do first, what we're going to start off first is we're going to talk about the <coughs> stages in your relationships. But usually the usual stages that people have. So they have the honeymoon phase. That's what the honeymoon. Oh, you are gonna shout them out, and then we are gonna go through each one. What? Okay, we'll go. We'll do it that way because because people need to know. Okay, okay. There's four stages that we like to talk about. <laughs> you actually wrote that. I told you I was gonna write it. <laughs> we have four stages that we like to talk about. We talk about the honeymoon phase. Oh, <laughs> Japan. Japan. <laughs> we <Yeah>. talk. <laughs> We talk about the honeymoon phase, and then I have this other phase that I like to call cruise control, and then we have the lazy love, <laughs> we have the lazy love stage, and then we have the spice stage. I hate that word, but it's a stage. So first we have the honeymoon phase. The honeymoon mm-hmm. phase is like you just got together, everything's new and lovely, puppy love. and you hold hands and skip in the park. And you do picnics and the grass, even though you hate the grass, but you she just is, do it. Yeah. We ne- I think we did one, one, the date that we did at Discover Green. Discovery yeah, but Green. it wasn't like a picnic. We just yeah. went walking. We've and never had a picnic. I don't day. like grass. Um, I'm going to get a blanket, mm, a I nice mean, strong the, blanket the, <laughs> with nice, it was knitting with steel. Bugs can still crawl on those blankets. And take pictures. We will. We will take pictures. No, oh, saying, oh, yeah. People it, take pictures. Yeah, they take pictures in honeymoon stages. Yeah, yeah. So you have the honeymoon up, phase. And everybody knows, you know, you're in love. You're, like, showing them off to everybody. You're all lovey-dovey, and everything's great. <laughs> and then you have the cruise control stage where everything is still great, but now you kind of know each other a little bit more, so you're less, like, trying to, imp- like, super-duper impress that person. Mm-hmm. You're kind of like, oh, I know what you don't and don't like, so I don't like flowers, so he's like, I'm not about to surprise you with flowers and do things like that. You know, you just don't cruise control. I'm you're not in going love. to try. <laughs> like, you're in love, but you're not like, oh, my God, like, your face is so awesome. I'm just like, eh, I like it. It's cool. <laughs> and then you move into lazy love stage, what we are going to talk about. Um... And we'll kind of, we'll get into that a little bit. And then you have the spice stage, where after the long period of having a lazy love stage, now you're like, oh my gosh, I have to get the spice back. Mm -hmm. Like, what are you, like, you're going to all your friends, you're like, oh my gosh, like, what are y'all doing to keep the spice here? Like, Can I say it? Do you want to say it now or you want to wait? We'll wait. We'll (laughs) wait. There's a certain thing I call the spice. (laughs) He has his own thing for spice. I'm more like, eh, whatever. Okay, so... Let's get into it. We're because the main topic is that lazy love stage, and that's usually the stage that will really determine where your relationship is going to go. Mm-hmm. Um, 
during the cruise control <laughs> and honeymoon stage, you kind of know it's going up. Because you're like, oh, this is new. Like, we're really in it. Um, I really like you. Like, we're really getting into it. Like, let's stay right here. This mm. is great. But then what happens is you get that lazy love stage, which is usually when you stop doing, like, daily tasks. Like, text messages. Like, um... Mm-hmm. The cute, how you doing? Yeah. So, like, for instance, like, when you first get together, you always send, like, little small text messages. Like, oh, I love you. I just wanted to check on you. Yeah, you were on my or mind. Or, like... <laughs> Or like little smiley faces and mm-hmm. like kissy hearts and stuff like that. Can't just to, to just to let the other person know that you were thinking about them. Not for any like actual like response, but just like, hey, I just want to let you know I'm thinking about you. So in Lazy Love, you usually stop doing stuff like that. Like mm-hmm. the little stuff. Flowers. Like if you're getting your woman flowers a lot and you just stop doing it because you're just like, eh, for what? Like mm-hmm. we've been together for long enough that I don't have to do that anymore. You know, those are lazy stuff. And then the big one that people really get into is appearance. Now, we're not talking about people who gain weight or lose weight or things like that. Because that's human. Like, that stuff you can't, you can control, but it's going to happen. I was told that I got fat. By other people. No, you you tell me that I'm fat. Yes, but what else did I tell you? Oh, you like it. Mm, I like it. You like me fat. Because you're not fat. You're just not skinny like he was. Anyway, anyway, it's not about you. Well, not yet. It's not about you. <laughs> so, <laughs> so if appearance is like the biggest one for some people. Um, I, I hear men a lot have this conversation where they're just like, ladies, like if you always wore your weave and you had your nails and your makeup done when y'all were dating, don't stop doing that when you get married mm-hmm. or when you get into the relationship with the guy. And I, I believe that. I totally believe that. I think that is true. If you are doing something consistently like that, and then you get in a relationship, and then all of a sudden you look like Who a tree monster. Yeah. Like, you look like a tree monster now. <laughs> it's kind of like... <laughs> <laughs> if you look like a tree monster now, it's kind of like, well, literally every time I saw you when we were dating, yeah, you, you were cute. like... Now you look <laughs> like a tree monster. I'm going to use that one. Look like a dang tree monster. It's like you look like a tree monster now. So, yes, I I cold heartedly believe that. So, for example, for me and Trey, I'm I've always been the chill girl. Like I'll get dressed, I'll put my makeup on, I'll look nice. But for the most part, you're gonna catch me in sweat and jeans mm-hmm, and like too. t-shirts and stuff. And all when we were dating, I also showed that side to Trey. I showed mm-hmm. him all my sides. So. When we started, when we really did get into a relationship, like a serious relationship, he wasn't shocked if he saw me without makeup or mm-hmm. like I decided that I wanted to wear sweats all day or mm-hmm. like if we were going to wear, I didn't throw heels on or be extra. Mm-hmm. So ladies, the only thing I can say about that is just be yourself. Mm-hmm. Like if you, if you yourself is not always like that and you have your days where you just don't want to be all dolled up I said, make sure you show them that please do just show them that show them that face of yours <laughs> the real you <laughs> and fellas too because y'all got some stuff out here now too. man <laughs> if i ever get to the please y'all tell me if i ever get to the point where I, y'all see me drawing lines and getting imp- just, just implants just, just, just tell me to let it go <laughs> be like trey look it's just, I love you, man, but it's, it's time to let it go. Just let it go. Let it go. So anyway, those are some of the things. Like, that's what we're talking about when it comes to, like, lazy, getting lazy in relationships. You're just not doing things that you don't normally do. <laughs> what Chris was saying? Show them that tree must. <laughs> yeah, you have to. I'm so serious. It's, like, we being funny, but you... <laughs> uh, uh, like, we're being funny, but you... Honestly, you have to because you don't always look like that 24-7. And if you don't want that to be... Like a thing that they complain about or something that they call lazy. <laughs> Damn, you ugly. Like, <laughs> okay, y'all, if he if he had that reaction to you without makeup on or something, <laughs> you should probably leave him alone. Because one, he played too much. And two, I, I don't know, just, it's not cool. <laughs> what happened? If they say what happened, or they just... <laughs> Or they just straight up, damn. <laughs> then, <laughs> you should. Uh, anyway, anyway, <laughs> he's so stupid. I'm oh trying to God. show you in spurts. Just that's the way it be sometimes. Okay, now we're gonna talk about. <laughs> okay, with with lazy love, 
you all you also kind of want to know when does this usually happen lazy love stage usually usually happens um in long-term relationships maybe like after a few years um most of the time i want to say we're going to be realistic with the short intention span of most people we're going to say like two years we're gonna say two years or longer. I get, and then you said you heard like um, I heard I heard it was like seven years when you start to get in a certain routine. People start to get accustomed to your ways. Mm-hmm. Then around them seven years, okay, but I said, think it's a little bit shorter than seven years. Okay, yeah. So like, he heard seven. I honestly, I honestly, 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 say <laughs> I feel like they need to hear. Idea. I need they. I need. I feel like they need to hear me say it correctly. Mm. Okay. <laughs> They're going to catch a few more of the words. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Stop distracting me. I'm not distracting you. Don't okay, you. anyway. Honestly, yeah, I want to say after like the first two years. And I say that because I don't think people understand that the lazy lazy love in relationships sneaks up on you. Mm-hmm. It doesn't just happen one day. So I want to say after the two year mark, I think that's when some people start getting into it where they're just like, mm-hmm. eh, I'm gonna drop off here, I'm gonna drop off there, like I'm just stop doing certain things mm-hmm. like gradually. So that's why I say two years. I get the whole seven year thing. I think for people, that's when they're in their most dramatic phase of the of themselves, the stage, dramatic stage of that phase mm-hmm. in their relationships. So that usually happens. Y'all let us know, like. If y'all ever had that point, got to that point. Like How long when, did it take you to get to that point where you was like, I know what this Negro about to do. <laughs> like, he about to come home. He about to do this, shower, eat, and then go right to sleep. Go straight to sleep. Because that's, that's what he do every he day. But um, this, that stage usually, usually happens after a few <coughs> years. And usually when you get into a routine. Um, not all routines are bad. I wouldn't say that. Um, sometimes people get in routines because it works. It works for their family. So it's like, okay, when we get home, I'm going to ask you about your day. I'm not going to really listen, but it's cool. <laughs> I'm going to ask you about your day. Then I'm going to sit down. You're going to give me dinner. We're going to eat. We're going to somewhat chit-chat with the kids. Then we're going to put them to bed, and then we're immediately going to go to sleep. And then we're going to wake up. We're going to go to work. Like It's like it it's a routine. Again. You just do it over and over and over and over every day yeah. to the point that we're now you're you're missing out on the little things. You're missing mm-hmm. out on the hey, let me just text them. Be like hey, ask him. Let me ask her what she wants to eat today. Should I bring food home? Is she gonna cook? Maybe I don't want her to cook today. Let's mm-hmm. get something else to eat. Oh hey, should I text him during the day? I know he had a hard day at work these past few days. Let me text him like a little happy face or a smiley face. Like hey, I love you. Have a good day. You forget to do those things mm-hmm. because now you're in such a routine where it's like you're constantly focused on the things that you have to do. That you don't think about the things you should do. Well, matter of fact, I want to hear it from y'all. Like, what what are some of the things that y'all did in the beginning to make your relationship like, you know, you're in the love, well, you're in the uh, honeymoon, honeymoon stage, stage and then the cruise, cruise control. control stage. What were some of the things that y'all did where you kind of kept the energy flowing? You know, them love notes, whatever you did. Like, let us know. Uh, Ouch. What did you do? I hit my ring on my. Oh, me doing doing all the most. So yeah, that's usually when it happens. And kind of to go into another question, like, how did you get there? Most people just like, if they don't know yet, they don't know they're in there. But you kind of like, how do people get there? Like, for the people who are in the honeymoon stage, they're mm-hmm. like, oh my gosh, like, like how do you even get there? there? Like, yeah. I always love you. Like, I always want to text you. I always mm-hmm. want to be with you. No, you don't. <laughs> you do. You honestly, you don't. You don't want to. You get to a point. What you say, Chris? She said we did the sweet texting in the beginning, but it, it does fade away. Yeah, yeah, it does, and it is not because you're disinterested or you just don't want to do it anymore. You just, you know, you just kind of like, eh, I'm gonna see you when I get home. Yeah. Like you know, I'm thinking it, about you. You're gonna say me the same thing. Like, <laughs> hey, how you doing? How your day's going? <laughs> Like, I love you. I you miss know, you. Okay. You know I love you. Yeah. Like it don't matter. Like you don't need to know. What's up, Jasmine? Like, I don't have Brion. I mean Beyond Pretty. Like, why are you saying people whole That's not her her last name is not Beyond. You don't know pretty. her life. Uh, she could have changed it. <laughs> <laughs> hey. Well her last name is Beyond Pretty. <laughs> but my yeah. last name is uh Hodge. Okay. You know, um I tried, I tried to do something. <laughs> but that is correct. That's that those things usually do fade, but we're going to get into why they fade. But um, 
But yeah, you just simply, you get to that point because you just simply stop doing the things you were doing in like the first year or so. It's like the text messages, sometimes dates. Mm -hmm. You know, when you first get with somebody, you go on a lot of dates because you want to get to know them. Mm -hmm. And then you start going on dates because you're just like, oh, I want to spend time with you outside of like what we normally do. And what, are you like laughing? Yeah. What? Because after that point, you're like, I, <laughs> I already know you, nigga. I ain't taking you out. <laughs> I ain't paying for your food. Shut up. I'm like, <laughs> I already took you out. But yeah, like, you know, you just stop doing those things so mm. frequently. And yes, we get it. Life happens. Things happen. We're talking about people who don't have kids, who don't have these things to do. They just, you just go home and see each other. Mm. And you have no other responsibility but to go to work and pay bills. So you have no other excuse for not doing stuff except for being lazy. Mm -hmm. Right? And that's when we get into, I guess, these two words that's, that come to mind when you think about um, the lazy stage in relationships. And it's usually boredom. Boredom and lazy. Mm -hmm. um, I think people need to know the difference between the two. So I guess when I think of boredom, when I think of boredom, I think of disinterest, interest. Like you no longer care. Like, eh, like uh, I really don't want to do it. It's a matter of like not wanting to do something because you're not interested in it anymore, right? Like yeah. when when you say that yeah. for like being bored. Yeah, I mean, just you like. I mean, the same thing would be saying you just. Constantly doing the same thing over and over, and then you just like I, I compare it like I was telling you, I compare it to being at work. Like you've been working at this place for a certain length of time, and like you just doing the same thing. You got the same routine, and after a while, the money is not really exciting. The work isn't really exciting, and you just like I'm, I'm just coming to work doing this. It's like it's nothing challenging. Yeah, it's nothing and you're new. quick to leave. You're just exactly. like, eh, like I need something new. Mm -hmm. That's being bored. Like mm -hmm. you need something new. Mm -hmm. So just like in school, like most kids, this is so random. But most kids act bad because they're bored, not because they're lazy, or not because, not because they're lazy. Yeah. Like not because they're actually bad. It's just they're bored. They're disinterested. Mm -hmm. They don't want to do this anymore. So. Know the difference between being bored in a relationship and being lazy. Now, if you're bored in your relationship, there's a good chance that you should probably get out of it. Um, <laughs> because like we said before, the definition you, you of can't our... can't fix bored. You, well, well, you can. You fix it by doing something else. <laughs> Look at that. See? What's up, Marcy? See, and, that's, up, Lauren? and that's what we're saying. We're just saying that you have to know the difference. If you're bored in your relationship, that means you are doing things to try to be engaged. Mm-hmm but you are no longer engaged in that relationship. So you should probably move on. Yeah. It's a selfish decision, but life is not <coughs> that long for you to just be like, I'm just gonna stay in it so I don't hurt his feelings. I'm just gonna stay in it so I don't hurt her feelings. Even though I am bored out of my mind, like no matter what y'all go do, you're like, bro, this is not fun. Like you bored as hell. What's up, Marcy? Like you, uh you call him, hey, how you doing? I know what you're doing. You, <laughs> what you doing? What you doing? You playing your game, I know. <laughs> what you about to do? You about to go eat? Yeah, I know. Yeah, and that's usually you knowing the person, but it's kind of like, ugh, like you, you, y'all know, you know when you're bored. So just know the difference. Now, lazy is not that you're disinterested in it. You just either just don't want to do it or you feel like, it's, it's not worth doing. Yeah, and it's nothing that I'm going to receive from this because we are already together. Yeah. Like, there's no reward or anything like that. And I like to reference this into, like, working out. Mm -hmm. Okay. Technically, Marcy, I don't want to hear no shit from you. Technically, we yeah. all want to work out. And Marcy can be like, I don't want to work out. No. Technically, most people want to work out for two reasons. One, they want to gain weight or muscle or they want to lose weight. These are the things you want to do. So you want to work out. But your ass lazy, so you don't work out. Mm. So there's a difference. You're not disinterested with working out. Well, you kind of are. But you want to do it. You just don't because you're lazy, not because you're bored of working out. Like, mm. you kind of reference it that way a little bit. It's like, it's something that you should do. You should do. Mm -hmm. People want to do. You need to do in order to live a healthy life. You just don't do it because you're lazy. Mm -hmm. You The thought of getting up and running is like, uh, I don't want to do it. The thought of getting up and sweating, you're like, uh, I don't want to do it. Because you're lazy. Like, mm -hmm. period. What'd she say? <laughs> but, <laughs> she say? but now I want to work out. <laughs> mm -hmm. <laughs> but, uh... But yeah, I like to reference it that way. So please know the difference. Know the difference. If you're bored, get out. If you're lazy, 
figure out a way to motivate yourself and to get out of that laziness because that's literally all it is it's like motivating yourself to get out of that laziness mm -hmm. that's what life y'all <laughs> life and relationships so Again, brandy life and relationships for those of you who are just uh, now tuning in you're struggling uh, for those of you who are just now turning turn get it together sound it out <laughs> sound it out for those of you who are just now tuning in <laughs> we we're talking Thank about you. being lazy we're talking we're, about yes oh, i'm sorry we're talking about being lazy in relationships go ahead yes and we're referencing it from we first started talking about the four different stages in your um, relationships. The, the four stage, well, the four stages that we like to reference to. We have honeymoon, we have cruise, cruise control, control mm -hmm. lazy, the lazy stage, mm -hmm. and spice stage. The spice stage. Yes, the spice stage, the one that I hate to talk about. I'm gonna speak on the spice stage because it's so stupid. What is happening? Oh, okay. Sorry, y'all. So, and now we're at the point where we're talking about know the difference between boredom and laziness. Um, when you're bored, usually you're not interested in, in it anymore. And if you feel like you're bored in something, you should probably stop doing it or find something new to do, mm -hmm. a.k.a. new relationship. Okay? Just saying, throwing it out there, don't waste your time if you're bored. Um, you don't want to be bored for the rest of your life. Think, no, seriously, think about that. You don't want to be bored for the rest of your life. If you're bored now, there's a good chance you might not be bored in like a month or two. Mm -hmm. But realistically, you probably probably will be bored unless that person just changes. Just the whole fact of being bored in a relationship, like especially in the beginning stages, that I don't really understand that. Like bored, that means y'all just hooked up for the wrong reasons. Of course, or, that means it's not meant to be yeah, an actual relationship. Yeah. Of what course. if you get bored in every situation? <laughs> Because then you a special case, Marcy. <laughs> you a special case, okay? You no. get bored in every situation because you're going after the same boring person. Period. I ain't say Period. that, Marcy. Period. She said you're gonna get preached to today, Marcy. I think you. you the, I think you one of the best people on earth, Marcy. I ain't saying all that. <laughs> no, Marcy's awesome. What I'm saying is the people that you're picking are not the best people. Hey. You, you, they're boring because you're picking the boring people. Marcy, you're yeah. a fantastic... You know what? You guys, we're going to talk to Marcy for a quick second. <laughs> Marcy is a freaking awesome person. She's super excited. She's up for new every, things. Every single time I see it, that's my boy right there. That's my boy. <laughs> And like she, she can be so dog tired when she see me. <laughs> I get so much energy. Yeah, I'm your boy. That's that's what that's you just need somebody to match that energy, and then you won't be bored no more, sugar. You won't be hey. bored no more, sugar. Just so, level up, level up, level, 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 up, level, level up, up, level up, level up, level up. Y'all, somebody tax here. Level up, level up, level up. Okay, anyway. <laughs> but yeah, we got a little size. That's what she said, Marcy. But hey, if it helps, try. You know. Going to that next level with getting somebody that's a little bit more interesting and not boring. Yeah, 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 yeah. That don't so, want spice. We were on the topic of how do you get to that point? How do you get to that lazy love section? Like, how do you get to that? Oh my gosh, what is going on? What's yeah, up? I'm glad we're not. <laughs> Marcy said, I love you, Trey. I love you too, Marcy. Uh, she said, I'm glad I. I'm glad we, we're not bored. Demond Grant, we've uh -huh. been in this thing mm -hmm. for 13 years. Listen, we love it. That's awesome. Yay. So how do y'all how do y'all keep from being in the lazy stage? If you don't mind sharing, you know, because some stuff. If you would like to. Yeah, I know you can't share. share but how do y'all stay in the honeymoon stage or the, uh, you know, the consistent stage? What's that one? The cruise control. The cruise control stage without getting into the lazy stage and the stage where you feel like you need spice. So, you know, yep. keep it PG-13. Why you typing at it? Because you're not. Excuse me. Uh, why are you thinking about that? Um, we were on the topic of how do you get... What, are we on that point? Yes. Yeah, how do you get to that point? And they were talking about boredom and um, boredom and being lazy. And then most of the time, it's not that you're... In, the, in this stage, it's not that you're bored or you love them any less. You just honestly got comfortable. Mm -hmm. um, I like to tell people all the time, people will continue to do the things you let them do. So... If you're letting me come home and not ask you about your day and eat the food that you cooked and then lay down and go to sleep, 
mm, it's kind of on YouTube. Mm-hmm. So, and that's about comfort level. So, I done got comfortable just coming home, doing this, and then going laying down. So, like, now I don't even have to show you any affection. I don't have to ask you how your day was. I don't have to give you a hug when I walk in. I don't have to greet you when I walk in. Because now I'm comfortable doing those things. And mm-hmm. usually with lazy love and doing things, you get comfortable not texting that person. You get comfortable not bringing them flowers. You get comfortable not having to spend money on dates because they're not saying anything or... That's just not what has been happening for years. Yeah. Type of situation. And um, Brandy said, we keep it fresh and exciting, making sure we let each other know how we feel and what we need from each other. That's a yeah. big one. Because what, yeah. what you need from each other, because um, it always, it those things can change all the time. So yeah. one time I might need you to, you know, help out at the house more. And then at another time I might need your support from me from work. As well, so those can change, and that keeps it kind of fresh and new. You yeah, know. and little side note, Brandy's my cousin. I see them go on a lot of dates. They go on a lot of um, like concerts and things like that. So mm-hmm. away from the kids, you know, she might go out with uh, with my cousins, her sister, and things like that. So that's always a good look too. Just making sure you're spending that time with each other, and mm-hmm. you know, not getting lazy. You got to continue to date each other, and it sounds so cliche and so like because we hear people, like, we heard uh, people say that all the time. It is to us. So, y'all don't get me wrong; it's so annoying to hear it, yeah. but it's so true. Yeah. It is so true. Um, we have a lot of successful black black love couples that are around us that are in our families, and we had. <laughs> You'd be ridiculous not to take their advice. And those are the things that they tell us. And we're going to continue to listen and, you know, just take that in. And it's so true. Just continue to date. That's the only, that's preferably the way to stay out of that lazy, that lazy stage. Um, And another thing we were talking about, I was just saying that, um, you were saying earlier, it was like, just in the back of your mind, usually in that lazy stage, in the back of your mind, you're just like, Eh, I could text you. I could like you. You'll be at the grocery store and you will see those flowers there, mm. and you're like, I could get them, but for what I already got them. Don't let money <laughs> or your circumstances control that decision. Because the moment you think, though, I should do this, I should do that, I should buy these flowers, and then you look at the price, like, dang, this flowers a whole twenty dollars. Well, well, yeah. yeah. Don't <laughs> well, yeah, let your circumstances in your relationship at that time dictate you doing that thing or not doing that thing. Well, yeah, that too, but also I was just saying from the standpoint of, like, you don't do certain stuff because you're just like, eh, for what? I already got them. Like, yeah. we already married. Like, we already in this. Like, mm-hmm. we bond Keep together. Like, yeah. <laughs> we bond together. <laughs> but, <laughs> but, like, you know, usually that's where people get it, um, especially from the appearance stage where it's like, eh, I could. Like, I know we going on a date, and I could just, you know, I could put on something cute. Like, not even, like, a dress and being extra, but you could put jeans and the heels on and stuff and look cute and do your makeup and get your hair done. Even as the guys, you can actually try to, like, look nice with a mm-hmm. button up. Go get your hair cut. Please. Mr. Um, Jimmy, how you doing that, Like, brother? you could do all those things, but then you're just like, eh, I'm fine. They already seen that before. Yeah. Like, I don't care. And, yeah. like, you literally... Like, you literally Literally, the thought in your mind that comes is, I don't care. Mm -hmm. (laughs) I I have those thoughts, too. But for me, it's different because (laughs) this how I am all the time. Anyway. (laughs) But, yeah. I'm going to go get my haircut tomorrow. I want to hear something nice. Ooh, Trey, your haircut looks so nice. Can I touch it? Ah, nah, I can't because you're just so sharp. See, that's the type of stuff that you need to be sending. The messages you need to be sending to your significant other. Especially when they get a cut. Because no other man... no, I don't want my mama telling me that. That's, I don't want that. Oh, you so handsome, Yeah. Sorry. I don't want to feel like a little boy. Oh, you so handsome. Oh, you so handsome. <laughs> sound, like a, sound like a grandma. <laughs> <laughs> that is funny. Come on over here, baby. <laughs> But that lazy love said that lazy love said you have to get get out your head that you already got them, y'all. You can lose people so fast, hey. so fast. I don't care if you've been married for ten years. I don't care if you've been married for a year. You've been dating for a month. You know how quick people dip out on you. Deuces. Straight out of there. So you don't. You do not have people. You do not have them. You do not own people. They will not stay. You cannot make people stay. Yeah. Somebody get get sick and tired of your mess uh, after after a certain while. Yeah, so like I'm telling y'all that that 
that stage of lazy love is so dangerous. That's the honestly, that's the most dangerous stage you could kind of be in, which is crazy because it's not the last stage. Mm -hmm. Spice that I like I like to call it spice because it's the dumbest stage of life. Like spice is so stupid, but but that's that lazy. Shot. That lazy love stage is the, the most dangerous stage. Mm -hmm. uh, that's usually where it can make or break your relationship, in our opinions. What we, um, not what we've experienced, because we're not even at that stage yet. Actually, me and Trey are more at the cruise control. You need some water? You need... I do. You need something? My water's over there. But um, me and Trey and I are at the cruise control stage, so... Give it a second. Hydrate yourselves, y'all. Yo. Hydrate yourselves. But um, we're at the cruise control stage. And I actually like this stage. This is a very good stage for us. Um, we still dabble into... What's good, man? How you doing? We still dabble into the honeymoon stage. Because, I mean, we did just get married. But y'all have to also realize we've been together for six years prior. Six old years. So our honeymoon stage has been, like spread out through the years mm -hmm. so right now we're at the cruise control stage where we're still super duper like in each other's faces if y'all don't y'all see us we match all the time <laughs> we're always together like if you invite me somewhere we're in pictures together <laughs> on the wall if you invite me somewhere he's gone like period like we're we're still in those stages um but we also know each other very very well and know when some people need space and things like that so mm -hmm. we're not like all in your face. Yeah, type of all the time. But um, but yeah. So like I said, that lazy love stage is the most crucial stage. It's mm -hmm. the stage where it can make or break your relationship. Yeah. Um, usually lazy love stages. Um, these. I have to say this: all four stages can last for a long period of time. Mm -hmm. What did he say? He said, uh, "Tony and I still match even this last weekend." Oh, that's because y'all super cute and. Damn. Okay. Anyway, <laughs> so just for reference, all these, um, all four of these stages. Wait, did she did she make you wear pink? She just made me buy a yellow shirt. Uh, because yellow looks amazing on his skin tone. So, so uh, don't start. Yeah, twenty one plus years. Amen. Hey. So don't start with me. Yellow looks amazing on you. Anyway, so with these four stages: the honeymoon stage, cruise control, lazy love, and spike stage. These stages can last for multiple years. Mm. These are not just things where it's like you hit milestones and then you get to spice. They're, if you are blessed enough and your communication's on point and you are really working in your relationship as you go through your relationship, you may never hit lazy love or you may never hit spice, which is a blessing because for the most part, everybody hits those stages and they could, they bitch about it all the time. Mm -hmm. Especially when you're about to get married. They're like, well, you know, they always change on you. Then I'm like, no, she changed on you. I'm sorry. <laughs> it, don't generalize that. He said, she's a Delta and it was crimson. You know what I mean? I didn't know Miss oh, Tony the color, was, a, the color. was a Delta. Yeah. I didn't know that. So she be... What? <laughs> like, what are you doing? <laughs> Why'd you do a windmill? <laughs> and even though I know this AKA, I had to find something for it. We would have been brothers and sisters because I was going to go to school to Nobody be an cares. alpha. No, listen, I was going to go to school to be an alpha. I just didn't go to school. So I missed that. So, you ready? Let's get back to it. I don't even remember what I was talking about. <laughs> What was I talking about? We're going to do the spice stage. Because I want to tell you. Well, when you get to we're the, not there yet. Jeez okay. Louise. I, we were talking about the lazy <laughs> stage. I was about to say. We were in the lazy stage talking about. Well, yeah, you oh, yeah, yeah, I, no, what I was discussing was yeah. that. <laughs> that each stage can last for like. It can last for years. Like you could be a honeymoon stage for like five years. Mm -hmm. You could be in a comp that. Um. Cruise control, cruise control. Oh my God, we could be in that cruise control stage for like five years, and then you could get a lazy love stage can literally last ten years. Mm -hmm. There's people who've been married for like thirty something years, and then all of a sudden they just get divorced, mm -hmm. right? And that's because they were in that lazy love stage for long periods of time and didn't even know it. Was it Mike? Like they were in that stage for a long period of time. So then you move. So then you then you move it to the spice stage. Like Trey likes to call it the 
butt stuff. <laughs> this is when, let me explain it. Okay. So when you get in, you got in the lazy stage and then you get in that for so long where you're like, all right, we need to find something to spice it up. And you start looking. Like, uh, but then you go on the deep end, you meet some people. And they weird already. Hey, hey, how you doing? <laughs> how you doing? Hey, how you doing? Oh, y'all look hey, nice. Here, y'all here's look my nice. wife. She looks nice, don't you? Who cares? You? Now, where's your wife? All right. Uh, so this is what I'm going to tell you what to do. This is what me and my wife did. Um, we start doing butt stuff. <laughs> you should try that out. <laughs> or you got them swingers that come up. Hey, uh, it's my wife. Your wife looks amazing. How about we just uh, swap them out? Uh, <laughs> And Deshaun said, uh, give her a water and hydrate. I know. It's, it's bad. I'm sorry, y'all. She's talking and speaking in tongues. It's right bad. Now. But, yes, then we get to the spice level yeah. slash the butt, butt stuff. stuff. And like Trey was explaining, we call it that because usually when people get to this... <laughs> Usually when people get to this uh, stage, it's because they were in that lazy stage for years, right? Mm -hmm. So you have these people who've been in the lazy stage when all their kids are like in high school, right? Mm -hmm. Or college. So that's, <coughs> my, that's, like, that's like 10 years, right? Now, let's say for 10 years. It, that sounds crazy and like so out of this. But yes, people get in that lazy stage for like 10 years, right? Mm -hmm. So now they're on the 10 years mark of being lazy and they're like oh my gosh like there's no spice we need spice to like get my relationship back to get my man back to get him back interested so i can be interested in him so now they start going to their friends mm -hmm. and their friends is like there's this lady mm -hmm. that you need to meet and they start bringing up the butt stuff right <laughs> and you're like whoa whoa i don't i don't need to do all that stuff trust me you don't want to do the butt stuff you don't want to get to we're trying to help y'all get not get not get to, to the, the butt, butt stuff, stuff. <laughs> stay away from the butt stuff <laughs> like we're trying to make sure y'all don't have to get to that point no. now look if, if that's what you want to do hey go ahead and do it but don't do it y'all be careful out there <laughs> y'all be careful out there but don't do <laughs> but don't do it to try to create spice so what me and Trey want to do for you guys is how to help you get out of that lazy stage or even prevent it yeah um, which is it? So, like I said, I'm going to go back to the relating it to a job. So, it's been times where I've been working at a job and, like, I've been there for a certain time and it, it was cool at first, but then after a while, it wasn't, like, it wasn't exciting for me. It wasn't, I didn't feel growth. I didn't feel any movement. I was just, I feel like I was just coming to work, going to do the same thing, come home, repeat the same cycle. So, you have to treat that the same way. If you want to see something different within that job... Excuse me. Oh, wow. That was a deep burp. If you want to see something different within that job, then you have to start. Um, you have to have something to go for. I was actually talking to somebody about this at work. I'm going to tell you about that. Um, you have to start um, shooting for something. You have to work towards something. And when you start working towards it, that's when you get that excitement again. Oh, I'm, I'm, I'm chasing after this thing. or I'm going after this thing. Like it gives me something to hunt for, something yeah. to, to work towards. Yeah. Again, so related to a job. Yeah, but. some people were saying, we were saying people get comfortable. Um, I think you should never get comfortable in any relationship. That is true. Absolutely. Um, okay, well, you're absolutely right. I think there's two sides to comfort. Yes, I think you should get comfortable and in, in the sense of seeking comfort in that person. So mm -hmm. I am comfortable with Trey. I can do, I feel like I could say whatever I want to. I can do whatever I want to. I don't have to be like so constricted and confined to my own space that I don't want him to see certain things. But no, I am not comfortable to the point that I feel like I don't have to try to. Um, you be you in the lazy <clears throat> stage, basically. Yes. Um, comfortable in that sense of I shouldn't have to try to still like. I'm trying to find the like the the word that I want to say, but I, it'll come to me later. Hey, Lawrence. Um, we start at eight o'clock. Why you always get on at eight forty something? Well, it's eight o'clock. Get it? He got, he was putting the kids to bed. That's I don't care. They know how to get in bed by themselves. <laughs> they do. You tell Lenny. Len you tell Lennox. <laughs> Lennox. <laughs> get in the bed. <laughs> That's usually how it goes. But, but yeah, like you were saying, and, um, a good way to... the, I guess most people are going, hey, how do I know that I'm in the lazy stage? Mm -hmm. Usually, your spouse will tell you. Yeah. 
Um, me, me, I'm a teller. Like, I'm not going to just mope around the house and let him just continue to do stuff that I feel like he should or shouldn't be doing or whatever. I'm going to tell him. Mm -hmm. I'm a, I'm a type A person in so that page. sense. I'm a, um, I'm a type A person in that sense. Like, I'm just going to straight up tell you. Because there's no point of us going through months of, like, you just chilling and cruising, thinking nothing wrong. And I'm, like, actually upset That's inside. Me. <laughs> yeah, that is That's more so. But I'm not going to do that. So, usually your spouse will tell you. Mm -hmm. They will tell you in some form of fashion. <laughs> Maybe they might just blatantly tell you. Or they might just be secretly having, like, attitudes with you. Mm -hmm. When you, like, come home and sit on the couch. Oh, so, so you just go sit on the couch. How how was your day? I am doing great. How are you? What you gonna do when you get home? I know what you gonna do. You ain't gonna do home. nothing. You ain't gonna do nothing. That's because you always do nothing. You That's know, what you always do. When your spouse start asking you questions and, and then answer answering it right after, you finished. Yeah. You finished. You're done. You're done. <laughs> That's when you're done. Finito. That's when that's when lazy mode has begun. <laughs> You been no, you been in it for like a week or yeah. two by now. So mm -hmm. they're like, Oh, I'm sick of this shit. So um <laughs> so you just gonna lay on the couch that I completely made. <laughs> oh yeah, you yeah, you're gonna lay on it. That's cool. <laughs> so usually your spouse will tell you in some form form of fashion, or you will see it through them. Mm -hmm. And I say it that way because <laughs> So, for instance, um, if you have no idea you're in a lazy stage, because sometimes it kind of sneaks up, sneaks up on you, and you don't even realize that you're not doing certain things. Um, and you won't know because your spouse is not complaining to you, but they're also being lazy. So, if you feel like you came home one day and you just realize, like one day you just realize, I didn't ask him how his day was. Mm -hmm. He didn't ask me how my day was. <laughs> like, how he know I want to fix this? I should know I wanted mashed potatoes. Like you just, you just realize that you're not conversating with each other. You mm -hmm. realize, man, we used to come, we used to call each other before we got home and been like, hey, what do you want to eat? Mm -hmm. um, we used to walk in the door and embrace each other, like just a hug, a kiss, or whatever. Mm -hmm. But I haven't got that lately. Yeah. And that's usually when you go, oh crap, like I haven't been doing that either because mm -hmm. I don't even remember the last time I asked him how his work was. Like I don't even know if he got a raise or if he was making money or like. <laughs> I'm just saying, like, you yeah, just no, don't I know. know. Like, know. you don't know because yeah. I have an ex type situation. So. Yeah. yeah, I mean, I think that's important. That's why I like making things off easy. You'd be like, what do you want to eat today? I'd be like, well, I don't know. Let's figure it out or whatever. Like, I make you guess and we just go back and forth because it keeps us on our P keys, P's and keep. Why are you lying so much? Because that that's, water? You lying. You don't need water. It you just lying. That's not what happens. It no. keeps us on our toes. No. This, that's no. what it does. He's lying, first of all. He asked that question because he know he don't know what he want. So then when I say I don't know, then he get to be mad at me. Even though he don't even know what he hey, want. We, at least we didn't get to that <laughs> spice mode. So get him out of to that. But I mean, I, I do like to do things out of the ordinary. Uh, I'm trying to think what's the last thing I did. Because it's, it's, it's crazy because sometimes it gets hard to do things out of the ordinary so much. But it wouldn't be out of the ordinary if you did it more often. So, But just to remember in your mind, okay... I haven't done this in a while, so I mm -hmm. need to do it. Like, take some time to actually think about your spouse. Think about the person that you're with because yeah. you can start to think about what are some of the things that they want to do. What haven't I done in the past? Yeah. You know, reflect. And that's when those ideas will start to come up. Yeah, and that's, yeah. you know, that's reference to um, what can you do when you feel yourself in that mode? Yeah. Um because like I said, sometimes that kind of sneaks up on you. It, it doesn't just happen overnight. Mm -hmm. And for reference, um, for like me. <coughs> so um, I was telling Trey, I was like, this is a little while ago. But it was so random. For me, one day I was just, I was just at home. Because I usually get home before he does. So I'm at home and I'm just like, dang. Like, I have not texted Trey, like, just randomly. Mm -hmm. and it takes me. Shut up. Finish. Be so extra. Stop Finish. being extra. I'm not. I'm Stop. just agreeing with you. <laughs> Okay. Anyway, so I was just like randomly like, dang, I haven't text Trey in a long time. Um, not like throughout, not through that day, but just random text messages like, oh, hey, I love you. How you doing? Or, you know, like a little smiley face or something like that just to let them know, let him know that um, that I was thinking about him. And nothing, nothing big happened. He didn't like come home with nothing special or say anything to me. It was just a feeling, like a gut feeling that I had. I might have been going through the text messages or something and saw it. I'm listening. <laughs> what? That is not your listening face. You're being so extra. Mm. <laughs> what? 
<laughs> Were you trying to say something in that laugh? I don't know, but I just want to punch you in the face so bad. Because <laughs> it's just so bad. He's like, ah, young love. Shut up. Like, Lawrence, is this hard? Is it hard for, like, to keep this this honeymoon phase? I mean... Well, not even honeymoon phase. Like, at least cruise control. Well, cruise control phase, like... Do y'all feel like y'all have gotten, not trying to put your business out there, but do y'all feel like y'all have gotten someone in the lazy stage where you just got in the routine of doing things over and over? Yeah, and you know? I guess for reference, like, they have kids, too. Yeah. We're kind of referencing people who don't have, like, other obligations besides going to work, paying bills, and, like, being with that person. But, yeah, because you have to get in the routine. Yeah, when, when you, you have kids, kids. Yeah, yeah. When you have ki- when you have children, you have to be in a routine. Like, yeah. that's something that you have to do. I forgot to pick up the kids today. <laughs> Yeah, well, well, they all right. <laughs> they, so, they in daycare for a reason. <laughs> yeah, so you know, this is kind of referencing people who um who probably don't have children because we can't speak on that. Lawrence, you need to come get on the podcast so we can have this discussion. Can I show them that? Show them what? My goal for what? That's because I was telling you that's what I was gonna reference. Mm-hmm. I'm gonna I'm gonna show y'all anyway. I'm sorry. Did My you... phone was breaking up. Repeat the question. Um, I was basically uh, you need saying. To fix your Wi-Fi. I was basically saying, uh, since you and Lindsay have been together for quite some time, not trying to get your business out there, but have you seen that it was a little difficult to stay in that honeymoon phase or that cruise control phase where y'all still doing things for each other, being spontaneous, so on and so forth, or has it seemed like it's gotten more so in a routine that you just kind of working things, you know? Working things in in um in the routine. Would you look at me for I don't know what you asking? I mean I was yeah. yeah. But we understand when that you have kids and that can kinda of make you get in a routine. I wanna show y'all. No, this. who podcast gonna, is this? I'm gonna co host podca- oh, I can't reach it. <sighs> Sit down. I was trying to okay, it don't matter. We what I was trying it. to do is show y'all my goals. So one of the things I have on my goals is to make sure I make my wife happy. And so on there, like if I, this poster board is like, it, it's not the full effect. This poster board is like, it's like, it's big. It's so big. It can't fit in the camera. Um, and I have on there like different, uh, act, like different focuses that I want to accomplish for the year. And one of them is my wife and making sure I'm pleasing her. So if I keep that on my mind and I see that all the time, I'm like, okay, what can I do to make her happy? What can I do to be spontaneous? And that can be like a constant reminder. So if that's something you can do. You can stick something in front of you that reminds you to be spontaneous for your wife. I mean, I'm that's in front it. of you. Hmm? I'm in front of you. I mean, but you're in front of me all the time. Yeah, so is that. No, it's not. It was right there that you wouldn't let me get it. And it's colorful, too. I'm colorful. Barely. <laughs> I have a lot of colors, y'all. <laughs> not all the time. <laughs> yes, I do. Anyway. But, yes. Um, those are some things, and I was, and you know, I was saying when you like when you're trying to get out of that lazy stage. We got a few more minutes, we're gonna, then we're gonna get off. But um, when you're trying to get out of those lazy stages, I was thinking that one of the things that you can do is start small. Mm-hmm. Um, start with text messages like throughout the day. Um, they don't have to be big or anything crazy. Literally, just say, "Okay, he wrote a lot of stuff." <laughs> okay, uh, like literally, just send like a little happy face or a smiley face. Uh, we're going to get into what Lawrence's response was real quick. What did he say? Oh, did you want to? Just read it. It says, we have a routine because we have a schedule with the kids, but she's still my girlfriend, and we make sure that we Aww. make time for each other and go out on dates. Like Aww. on uh, yeah. coming up in March. When we got to watch the kids. We got gotcha. you. Yeah. Speaking of dates, don't forget about this weekend. Oh, that's this weekend. Yeah. Okay. Cool. Yeah. <laughs> Look, he forgot. It's Saturday. Yeah, I just put it on um, the calendar. And that, hey, that <laughs> reminds me. Yes. Uh, just for reference, Lawrence is my brother, if you can tell by the last name. And he is one of him and my sister-in-law, Lindsay, are one of the uh, couples that we really like to talk to and um, get advice from. Uh, black love all day. Bam. Every day. Ba-bam. But anyway, good ways to get out of that lazy stage. Um, like I was saying before, you can just start off with a simple text message. Um, nothing big or huge. Literally, if you're like, if it's the middle of the day, maybe on your lunch break or whatever, for people who can have their phones during work, just send a little happy face or a little smiley face. That not only 
does that face can mean multiple things, but it really just tells the person that you're thinking about them, right? Mm -hmm. So now you, they get this this um, this emoji, and it's like, oh, they're so cute. They're thinking about me. That's if they care. <laughs> oh, they're thinking about me. So now either either they'll send something back if they can, which hopefully they do. But now when y'all go see each other at home. There's a whole nother different vibe There's going on. Different atmosphere. The atmosphere is completely different. Yes, mm -hmm. you're doing the same thing. You're walking through the door. Now you're more willing to greet them and be like, oh, I really like the text message you sent me today. Oh my gosh, you're so cute. <laughs> oh, I love you. Let me kiss your face. So like now you have completely changed the atmosphere. And now everything <coughs> is kind of moving a little bit better mm -hmm. in your household. Now... Obviously, if you keep doing this every day, every day, every day, every day, it will kind of get boredom. It will kind of get bored and redundant. But really, that initial text message is just to open your. This sounds so corny. Open your heart back to that person. <laughs> open your heart. Holy Spirit. And also remember, remember uh, the reason why you got with that person. Because if yes. you just start sending text messages, I love you, I love you. Like, do you? That'll be cool. <laughs> But after a while, they'll get old. So if your thing was, I love how spontaneous uh, she was and I was. Okay, so be spontaneous. Don't just send text messages just to send text messages. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like sure. be spontaneous. Say something off the wall. Um, well, not you know, off the wall. But I like, mean, like something different. Or like a memory, like, like something like, hey, you remember when we did this and that, yeah. that, that? Like we should or, go do babe, this. Hey, don't worry about cooking. I'm gonna come home and I'm gonna yeah. put down a, a, a mean dish. Yeah. Or I'm gonna a buy peanut pizza. butter and jelly. Or I'm gonna buy pizza. Pizza is the way to a girl's heart. Hey, Keegan. What's up, man? But yes, so those are good ways to start off to get out of that, um, out that lazy love, you know? Mm -hmm. Because you don't want to be in there too long. Being in there too long usually lead, usually leads to like divorce or breakups or separation because you feel like there's no spice. spice. So now you're looking for spice when really all you had to do was put a little bit more effort into your day-to-day -day routine. Mm -hmm. Get out of that laziness. Like find like find some type of motivation or something to get you out of that laziness. It usually I'm saying it can just start with a date. Just have a nice date mm -hmm. or something like that. It and will don't bring you. up stuff y'all going through. Yes, have a date of problem a problem-free date. Mm -hmm. I know it is absolutely hard to do. What's up, car? Um but just have a problem free day like have something like something fun too something interactive don't go to the movies you can't talk in the movies <laughs> if you want to watch a movie stay home and just watch a movie you well no nah, you can go to the movies if you want to go to the movies because that may be your silent you know because you may be mad at her at the time so you may you may need to work that out in the so movie so you're going to waste money you're going to waste your time. no no I'm saying you be beside each other and you mad and as the movie go on that, that frown gonna, is going to turn into a smile. No, I'm still mad. Well, that's you. I know. <laughs> like I, I said. I know how to move on. We're, just, this, we're not talking about being mad. We're just talking about being lazy. Yeah. Now, being lazy doesn't mean you're not in love with that person. It just means that you're lazy. You got comfortable. You stopped doing certain things because you're just like, oh, I already got them. Mm -hmm. Like, I'm not going to do I'm not gonna do my hair today. I already got you. I'm not going to, you're not going to shave your beard today because I already got you. You don't like, want me to shave Like, I'm not going to wear, I don't like you shave your beard. Um, I'm not gonna wear that nice shirt that you bought me last Christmas because I'm lazy. I don't want to wear the colors that you like on me because mm -hmm. eh, I'm lazy. Like doing little simple things like that, I promise you will help you migrate out of that lazy stage because you don't want to get to the butt stuff. <laughs> if you don't know what the butt stuff is, go back to the beginning of our podcast and we will definitely explain it to you because. It is now almost on the clock, and we have to get to going because we got the places to be in the morning. I don't. All right, so like I said, this is about lazy love. We hope that y'all never get to this stage, and if or you if do, you, yeah. And if but if you do, you find a way to maneuver out of it because trust me, this stage can be very dangerous to your relationships. That sounds so like intense, but <laughs> hey, <it laughs> but no, be. but like, it really can be, and we and we hope that y'all can find ways to get out of these um out of these um stay out of that stage in your relationship especially if you're there now if you're there now start making the steps and digging out that hole and putting that ladder up and just going one step at a time to get out of that stage because like i said you don't want to get to the butt stuff 
No butt stuff. So anyway, peace, love, happiness. Keep a smile on your face and stay positive. If you don't know your purpose in life, please find it because your life will be so much better when you find it. Stay staggered, y'all. Stay swaggy, y'all. Peace. <laughs>